Greetings, food surfers of the world. I am Eric Surf Six. This is the Mealtime Show, and we are doing some very special machines today. Right behind me, we've got two new machines by the Asakusa Ham Company. This place has got a lot of history since 1932, coming up on 100 years. This machine was here before, I've done it already, but they got this new machine, so we're gonna check out what new stuff they've got. And actually, there's new stuff over there as well, too, I see. Awesome, this is exciting. All right, let's go right in for the blue machine. Right over here, let's look at the side here. Gorgeous decorations, huh? It says Asksa and then Ham. So, let's get right in. Everything's available, that's good, that's really good. Yeah, we are happy, happy campers. Start out with this number one at the top. No idea what that is, but it looks amazing. Oh my goodness, it looks French. Yeah, well, there's the French chef right there. He's not Japanese. We need a close up of the chef. It's a, he's a pastry chef. All right, we're off to a good start. Moving along, let's do number four. I'll give a close up of number four there. That's a really nice little appetizer, isn't it? Got the olives and stuff, pickles. So that shrimp looks, looks amazing, number four. Get it for 500 yen. Is it coming? It's coming, here we go. Gorgeous looking box, I love the packaging. There's a little pig logo. Nice. Moving along, we're going counterclockwise today, that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, this is another one of these appetizer sets. Of course, I love these things, they're so cute. Number seven. Coming down. Same type of packaging. Okay, and next. There's an, yet another appetizer. Three different appetizers. This one you get five different things. It's getting better and better. This one's got the ham in it. This says uh, chashu. So that's uh, chashu pork. Braised pork, I believe. Okay, and we do one more. This one, this one. Okay, we're gonna do this really super thick uh, pork cutlet, katsukare it's called. Oh, it actually comes with the curry. Oh, nice, it's a full set. With rice and the curry? Awesome. 600. I'm in. We're in, number five. Come to Papa. Oh, it's huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing, it's giant. So it says rangy, you put it in a microwave oven. A lot of volume here, this is heavy. Heavy, yo, it's heavy. Anything else? Oh, we're gonna do this. This is new. It's a two pack of cheese and chorizo, so what, spicy sausage. Looks amazing, it's on the skillet. And the price down, it was 700, now it's 500. We like discounts here on the mealtime show, don't we? Yep, number eight, did I get the number right? Yep. Now the red box. And let's see, you get six of them, uh, and it's a two pack, 100 grams times two. Go next door here. Hello, yellow machine. And it's got the same logo, right? It's just with the yellow. Again, Asuka's a ham. This is my best, this is my best friend right here. But there might be a new best friend in town, the blue machine. I don't know, we're gonna sort of compare the contents. Okay, so what's new? I've had this before. No, I haven't had it. I had that maybe. It's hard to remember. I think I had that. So what are we doing? We'll do, oh, it's got, okay, it's got, oh, skamen, that's nice. It's like ramen where the noodles and the, um, the soup are separate. It's a thing in Japan. Yeah, gotta try it. Don't believe I've seen it from a vending machine, so. Number one for 900, it's available. Number two is sold out though. Number two is sold out, the quiche. Get a lot. It's gorgeous looking, so it's a kit. And you got the noodles there and that's the soup. Okay, very cool. Happy, happy. So, uh, oh, number two, number two, yeah, two and three, four is sold out. That's the one I wanted. And let's get the mixed sausage. Number seven is available. Guess what? It's another red box. Is this orange or is this red? What do you guys think? It's somewhere right in the middle. My YouTube, my YouTube analytics says we need more comments down below in the comment section for, uh, for the algorithmic functions and the well-being of this channel. You know what I mean, right? Sorry for all the long-winded explanation. Okay, um, are we doing the raw egg? Are you guys feeling the raw egg? Somebody said yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, raw egg. <laughs> Kinda, I sort of feel indifferent about the raw egg. You know, I don't really, I don't really hate it, I don't really love it, you know, and then hit and miss. Number 10. It sold out, oh what a shame, people. I was really hoping that I could try it today. That was looking really delicious. Oh, we're gonna have to ask for our money back and escape. Oh, wait a minute. 
Number 11 sells a similar product. Actually, it's the exact same product. Just the picture is different. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do number 11. Is it available? Oh, too bad, ladies and gentlemen. It says Urakide. Sold out. Number 10, number 11. Yes! No raw egg. Yes! Yes! Excuse me? Camera person is... Oh, get this instead? Okay, we're going to get the... Uh... Oh, it's English. It says Yamaya Base da Fancy French pastry sandwich thingy. That's what it is. 300 yen. That's cheap. Like two bucks. Number five. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful packaging. Yeah. Gorgeous. Fresh out of the oven. Let's rock and roll. Apparently the camera person is very hungry today, so we're going to buy one more. Goodness, this is a jackpot of items today. So how about this butter chicken curry? Oh my lord. Butter chicken curry. Is butter chicken not the best curry out there just because it's creamy and it's chicken? It's like everybody loves it, right? Right, right, right. Am I right or am I right? Last time I had it, it was watery. It was terrible. Never again from that place, wherever that was, I forget. Okay, here we go. It's pretty heavy. It says uh, butter chicken curry. You guys are getting hungry? I am starving. Let's go eat. video, Eric Surf 6 video or mega video. Oh, that's the one we made up. Yeah. We made up one question. It's not a real question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So since I made it up, um, okay, so. <laughs> okay, thanks to Mommy for the question. And I'll, she's asking you, Mega, as well too. What's the, your favorite video on your channel? So I'll go first. My favorite video on my channel is the the Chinese English accent video that I did and it bombed, it got, it got as many thumbs up as it got thumbs down, but but it's, it's a favorite video of mine. I had a good time making it, and uh, I won't link it anywhere, but you're welcome to search for it. It's out there somewhere. Mega, how about you? What is your favorite Mega Brain 6100 video? My favorite video is swimming in a puddle. Swimming in a puddle. How is that even possible? <laughs> we could show you a little clip of the video, but it uses Herb Albert's, uh, what is it, Tijuana Taxi? So, sorry. But you can find it on his channel. Yeah. If you go to Mega Brain 6100, you can find it. It's, it's a precious family video, for sure. Zoom in. Earl. Earl. Question is, any plans on more videos of Earl? And this question is by, you're watching KRSTV. So, Earl. He's my alter ego character that used to appear in the videos way, way back when. And I'm just, I would like to know how many of you are familiar with Earl. I bet it's less than 2% of the people that watch. But anyway, he was a little bit older than, older than me and kind of, uh, I don't know, he was a little bit rough. But he made some really good videos. Yeah, and actually Eric Surf 6 and him had this big fight. They were in a video together and uh, I think that's what ended the series. But... Um, I think I'm going to bring him back. To answer your question, I'm going to bring him back. I just got to find him. He lives out in the forest. What do we got? Your family. Mary Ellen Mendez asks, would love to know more about your family. That's not even a question, Mary. But I'm going to answer it anyway. So, um... Well, it's, it's me, I'm the father, and then there's Maggie, he's the younger son, and my older son is, uh, the dude's got it, he lives in Southern California, and Chef is the wife, you can't see her, but she could, could you say hello? Hi. There you go, she's in the other room, she's watching TV, because she, she prepares all the meals and stuff. She doesn't like to be on camera, but, but she's not shy, she likes to, um, to party, basically, she, she likes to play darts, that's why there's that dartboard right there. Yeah. We play some serious darts in this household, and typically, like, after we finish a meal, lately, we've been playing cards. 
because Mega's big into cards, so yeah, we, we have a little card game after a meal. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit about the family. <laughs> Place in Japan. Oh, that's a good question. It's from American Bacon. Good channel name, American Bacon. I like that. The question is, where is your favorite place to visit in Japan? Okay, so you go first. My favorite place is Beppu in Kyushu. Really? Um, how many times have you been there? I haven't been there yet. Well, then how do you know it's your favorite place in Japan? Because it's the number one hot spring in Japan. Oh, right, it is. It definitely is. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, all right, we leave tomorrow morning, 6.30. That work for you? Yeah. Um, I would say I'm going to go with the Ogasawara Islands, which are down deep off of the coast of Tokyo. They're part of the Izu Island chain, and the only way to access the place is by a ferry boat, and it's 24 hours to get there. There's no airports. And it's like kind of a mini Galapagos Islands. It's really a, a beautiful, gorgeous place that's not overridden by tourists. Yet there are places to stay, of course, the, you know, the little like two or three story places, but you don't have any of the big hotel chains there like Okinawa does. So I would definitely recommend going there. In fact, I shouldn't even be talking about it. It's, of course I wanna share it with you guys, but it's an amazing place. Ogasawara Islands or the Bonin Islands, it's also called. Comfort food. Huh. I like comfort food. Do you like comfort food? I like it. All right, well, let's go find out what the full question is. It's from Red Rabbit 888. Red Robin 888? Rabbit. Red Rabbit 888, okay. What is your ultimate comfort food? Okay, you got an answer for that? Yeah. It's what? McDonald's. McDonald's? Like the Big Mac Satter or what? I like the Samurai Burger. Samurai Burger? What? Samurai Burger. It's kind of like a quarter pounder. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, burgers. Comfort food burgers is definitely good. I'm going to go with uh, In-N-Out Burger. I'm from Southern California. It's In-N-Out Burger. And the reason why I know is because the first thing I do after I get off of a flight at LAX is I rent my car and I drive immediately to an In-N-Out Burger and feast. That's how I know. So it's the first place I want to go. And the second place would probably be Taco Bell, but or Del Taco, one of like a taco joint, but in and out burger. All right, so this is round two. We got the ramen. I think we gotta get right in for the ramen because it's hot, right? Yeah. yeah, let's do the ramen while it's hot and we need a close up of this, right? <laughs> like the most giant chashi you've ever seen yeah did you take all the soup or what it's like gravy there is no yeah. there no is soup. no soup okay I think that's the way it's supposed to be yeah i mean all right this is what the soup looks like this is this is gravy bro it's hard to see. oh man it's it hot. smells pretty good okay yeah i mean but like it's virtually like no soup <laughs> which is a little bit weird oh i, I used the wrong serving fork but whatever I, it doesn't matter. Spoon, hello. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you're right. All right, let's go. Cheers. To the ramen. What kind of ramen is this, by the way? It's Gyokai Tongos ramen. Tongos, so that's a uh, pork broth, what? Soup? Oh, we have a flyer. We have information incoming. The chef has just provided us with this. Or skimming. So skimming, ah, so, okay. That's why there's no soup. Okay, so the, why is it, fo there it is. Skimming. So, skimming is, you eat the noodles and the soup separately, but chef just put it all together for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, fine. All right, going for the pork. Sweet. Yeah. It's just more like a ham to me. I mean, I mean ham it is basically pork. It's the same animal, right? Yeah. I don't usually like tonkotsu, but I like this. I usually do like tonkotsu, but I don't like this. 
<laughs> there you go. Because it tastes nothing. It tastes nothing like tonkotsu. Yeah. It tastes not. I don't taste any pork broth at all. That's it, like it. It's got because it's got the fish stock. Yeah. Like a, what? What is that? The powder on top. It's, it changes the whole game. Yeah. Interesting. The noodles, way too thick for me. These are like an udon noodle. Yeah. Way too thick. I mean, a ramen noodle should be very thin. Tem that's, there's no rules, though, in Japan, right? I mean, they no. make them how they want to make them, and that's it. Yeah. So you're good with this? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a meh. Meh. But, you know what? This came out of a vending machine. I'm going to have to up my ranking. I mean, because ramen joints are like a dime a dozen. They're everywhere, right? Yeah. But ramen vending machines that serve up surprise stuff like this, it's quality for sure. It's gourmet for sure. It's still a meh. But hang on. We, we, I mean, the way the rating works here in the giveaways, it's an overall rating. And then he's in on it too. So we're not done yet. Okay, next item. Where are we going? It's your choice. The this curry. On the curry. Didn't we just do curry? We did the butter curry already. That's a different one. Oh, okay. It's the katsukare. Katsukare. So that's uh, like, is it the pork or the chicken? Do you know? It's the uh, pork. The pork cutlet, okay. Okay, so how's that where it goes on the plates, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting my appetite back now after that. Skamen. Skamen ramen. It looks pretty good. Okay. I know, I know you're a big fan of ramen, so. Yeah. Me, noodles, eh, not so much. I'm more of a bread guy. But occasionally I'll have a killer bowl of ramen and just be like, ah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I go right in for the pork. What are you going for? The pork. Yeah, it's the main event. <laughs> okay. It's got a nice kind of um spice to it. Mild spice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Pork cutlet is very common, or katsu curry. Pork cutlet served with curry. Very common in Japan, and you should definitely try it. It's one of the, the first things I really became interested in and, and had a craving for. And this is basically, this is what Japanese comfort food is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the go-to. So you gotta try it. And that curry's nice and thick, isn't it? It is. It's good curry. And never eat curry with chopsticks. Use a, use a spoon. <laughs> Always use a spoon. It takes forever. Okay, my turn? Yeah. We're going in for the chorizo cheese. So spicy, what? Spicy pork sausage infused with cheese. Ready? Yeah. I think we don't need any um, condiments with this, right? Because the cheese should be bomb enough, right? Yeah. Oh, what do you think? Very cheesy and hot. I only got the hot with mine. I didn't get the cheese. Maybe I bit the wrong end. Oh, there's the cheese. You know what? It's almost perfect. You know what would make it perfect? What? A little bit of mayonnaise. Just a little bit of creaminess on the outside. You up for that or ketchup? I think it's perfect. Just okay. like this. Okay. I don't feel like going into the kitchen, so... <laughs> what Maggie says. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm a mayonnaise junkie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay, ready? In three, two, one. You sure you don't wanna try a little mayonnaise? Up to you. I'll try it. Just a little bit, you don't need much. Mmm. Mmm. That's the, the creaminess of the cheese. Yeah. The creaminess of the mayonnaise, they blend in together. I don't know. Just, yeah. Okay, thank you. Remind me to pay you more in the next video for saying that. <laughs> oh, God. We got anything left here? What's up? Feels like we've been eating forever. Is there anything else here? What is that? Mentaiko bread. <clears throat> Mentaiko who? Bread. Oh, bread. What kind of bread? Men who? Mentaiko. Is that for men? Yeah. Mentaiko. What is taiko? Men's taiko, men's drums. It's fish, fish, what is it? Fish, not eggs, but fish, fish roe. Spicy fish roe. And it's French, right? Yeah. It's French, bro. It's hot, too. Okay, just eat it as is, right? Uh, are we going to put mayonnaise on this? No, we are not. No. Okay. 
Here we go. <coughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, actually, I like mentaiko spaghetti. When they put it on top of spaghetti, it somehow works. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. It worked. But with bread? I don't know. What do you think? It's weird with the bread. It's weird with bread, isn't it? Second bite, tastes a little bit better. Getting used to it. Yeah. Third bite. Leave it to the French. Oh my god. Fourth bite. Nom nom nom. I'm serious. It's really good. It is good. Huh? It was weird at first, but. Yeah. It's good. Oh man. Should have bought like five of these. You guys ever see this in a vending machine? Buy that. Buy it up right away. Even if the camera can't focus. We ha we already have this. Like, we have that already. <laughs> right? Editor, we have that already. Okay, and that brings us to dessert time. Did, is there a dessert tonight? Yes, there is. is it, what, the cherries? We're going to do cherries again? There's the apple pie. Oh, I forgot about those. One for you, one for me? Yeah. Okay. Don't mind if I do. These also came from a vending machine. Do we heat them up or just, you just go for it? Oh my goodness, look at that. They got to see a, an inside view of this. I know we're going to get the focus right here. Come on, camera lint. You can eat it. Eat it, camera. Focus, camera. $6,000 camera and you can't focus. There we go. Look at that giant apple. It's got cream. Oh, man, that looks delish. Oh, my goodness. This looks amazing. It looks like two types of custard. There's white and there's yellow. Oh, you didn't bust yours open. No. Okay, ready? Go on in. Oh. Chasing the cinnamon? Yeah, and there's so much cream. There's a lot of cream. And you know what? It's better cold. Yeah. Right? The cream needs to be cold. It's nicely layered. The pastry is nicely layered. Right, flaky? Leave it to the French. This might be the best apple pie. Really? How many apple pies have you had in your lifetime? Like 10. Like 10. Okay, I've probably had 50. It's up there for sure. And you know how you can tell? If we eat it all or if we let it sit on the plate. That's how you can tell. Mmm. Yeah. Ah. Nippon ham. I mean, all this stuff came out of two machines at the same location. That's a jackpot, right? Yeah. Two machines. Wow. I mean, wow. Okay, it's all mega. Brain. 6,100. Previously, P brain 6,100. His brain grew. Big. Mega brain. 6,100. Why the 6,100? Because we used to watch Home Improvement. And every single item that they showed off on that show, mechanical tools, things like that, right? Yeah. Hardware store stuff. Every single item in that program ever had the number 6100 attached to it. Yeah. Every, and that's why. It's like we would always talk 6100 after everything we said. We just, hey, Coca Cola, 6100. Hey, you got the sunflower pants, 6100. You got the black shirt, 6100. I don't know. It was the thing. Okay, sorry for that. We're trying to figure out what the rating is here. Yeah. I'm giving up some time to let it simmer. So, Mega, two vending machines. I guess the fruit that we had, that's the only thing that we brought in. I brought in the fruit. That's it. All right, Chef brought in the fruit. So, um, where would you like to go tonight on the <clears throat> the amazing Mega Head scale between one and six? I'm going to go six. Six out of six. That would be, is that is that the highest? It's the highest. It's the highest, okay. So, I'm not going to go so high. I'm gonna go. Um, well, well, what did you like the best? I mean, then maybe you can sway my rank. Excuse me, I'm burping up. <laughs> what am I burping up? Ramen. That that I hated. That that was like pathetic. That was not pathetic, but just not mine. I like the cheese chorizo. Oh, the okay. Yeah, that was that was pretty tight. Yeah. I like the the thick ham that we had. That was good. Yeah, and that, that first was appetizer too. was really good. The butter chicken yeah. was good. The plum was really amazing. It's a six out of six. I mean, just yes, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. So, 
We're doing a giveaway, three of our Get Some Snack Packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link on the screen. All you gotta do is click it and you can watch an unboxing video of somebody opening one up. We send them out everywhere, worldwide. And just put a comment down below and we'll announce three winners in the very next Eric Mealtime. So thank you guys so much for watching. Eric and Mega, out.